The Red Hawks sweep this three-game weekend series from the Winnipeg Gold Eyes, winning 7-2 today in the series finale. Welcome back to Newman Outdoor Field for our post-game show on 740 The Fan. The Red Hawks go to 13-11 and for the season, and they now have claimed first place in the North Division of the American Association, vaulting over Winnipeg and tied for first with the St. Paul Saints. Red Hawks manager Doug Semenuk joins us down below. And Doug, congratulations. Your team continues to play well. And you set a real good early tone today, I thought, with the four-run, two-out rally in the first. Yeah, we got the bats going there early in the game. And, you know, four runs uh, help any pitching staff early in the game. But, um, you know, we got to continue to do that. Sevens, we got to throw some of those kind of numbers back up, you know. Seems to go in peaks and valleys. You know, we had a little sh trouble with Lincoln earlier in the homestand, and then now we're back on swinging the bat a little bit. So we've got to just carry it over and keep playing good against the teams in our division. Doug, I thought that Keith Brackhold swung a real good bat for you again today. And for a second straight game in this series, he was two for four, drove in a run in the first. He really seems like he's seeing the ball well and getting some good swings on the ball. What do you think? Yeah, he's pulling the ball pretty good. He's using that hole over there between uh, first and second and, you know, he's hitting the ball on the line. I like to see a few of them get up in the air a little bit. He looks comfortable. He chases once in a while, but if you get a ball, you know, thigh high to him, he'll put some damage on it. Um, big thing with him is, you know, his selectivity. If he can be selective and, and get good pitches to hit, especially with guys on base, he can do some damage. Uh, you know, our whole lineup today was, I thought, pretty good and you know, we get the guys on the top of the lineup on. We've got speed up there so we can do some stuff. Mackenzie King gets the win in relief for you, Doug. He came in in the sixth inning when the game was still somewhat in doubt and Winnipeg loaded the bases and he pitched out of the jam and gave you three and two-thirds innings. How about the way King performed? Well, he's a, he calms the game down. You know, he's got a, um, it's a split finger that he throws. It's, it's almost like a knuckleball mm -hmm. and he uses it very effectively. And, you know, when you get teams that are trying to catch up or, or even teams that are way out in front of you and you bring them in, he can hold a game pretty good to allow you either to get back or to hold the lead. Winnipeg was pretty aggressive against them. He used this good ratio of split fingers and fastballs. Had him a little mixed up, but I thought overall he's, he's one of those guys that, you know, he can uh, come in and get a ground ball. We brought him in second and third, and he got out of that, that situation. So... He's a real dangerous weapon, you know, to have in a bullpen to come out. And he's going to pitch to contact. He didn't strike anybody out, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I think he walked maybe one or two guys. But he's going to pitch to contact, and you're going to hope the ball's hit on the ground. And that's what he does good. And, Doug, now the Red Hawks will move on to St. Paul for a three-game series starting tomorrow night. The Red Hawks are 9-1 and one against North Division opponents this season. This is a big set against St. Paul, which got rained out today hoping to get in a game with Wichita. What about the Saints? Well, they're a good team. They've got a very good lineup. Boyer's up at the top of the lineup. He can really hit. Um, Brazil's pretty good. He's a good hitter. They've got a very, very potent lineup. They're added Ole Sheldon back to the mix. So, you know, you're going to have to kind of choose your medicine, who you want to pitch to in their lineup, especially with guys on base. And, you know, if we can starting pitch like we've been doing and give ourselves a chance, you know, we, can, we should be able to fare all right over there. So... We're looking forward to the challenge, and, uh, you know, starting tomorrow night, we'll go over and see what the Saints are all about. All right. Thanks a million, Doug. Sure appreciate it. Thanks. I think I'm going to talk with Keith Brackhold after he gets done with TV. So thanks, Skip. The Red Hawks with a 7-2 victory over the Winnipeg Gold Eyes. They upped their record to 13-11. and Winnipeg falls to 12-11 and with the loss. The Red Hawks a perfect 6-0 and against the Gold Eyes during the regular season. And St. Paul at 12 and 10 is now tied with the Red Hawks atop the American Association North Division race. We'll hang around here for just a moment or two before we get a chance to visit with Keith Brackhold. The Red Hawks winning pitcher, Mackenzie King, his first in a Red Hawks uniform. Alex Kapal takes the loss for the Gold Eyes, falling to 1 and 4. The time of the game, 2 hours and 33 minutes. And the attendance, 2,398. This game was delayed by an hour and 17 minutes at the start due to rain. But no problem for the Red Hawks. They score four runs in the first, add two runs in the third, another run in the fourth, and three pitchers get the job done for the Hawks. Ethan Opsall worked the first three, followed by Pete Levitt and then Mackenzie King. King going three and two-thirds innings. He allowed one hit, no runs, with a walk and no strikeouts, and King has lowered his earned run average to 1.72.
in his first victory in his first decision as a fargo Moorhead Red Hawk. Tomorrow, the Red Hawks again in St. Paul to begin a three-game series. Game one, 7.05 tomorrow, and a 6.45 pregame here on 7.40 The Fan. Keith Brackle is available now downstairs, and Keith, congratulations on another Red Hawk win. First of all, just how about the way the team has been playing as a whole, 11 wins in your last 14 games? I mean, we're certainly picking it up uh, with the confidence level. Everyone's starting to feel better, um, starting to play a little bit looser, and uh, the atmosphere in the clubhouse is, uh, is a good, loose, and, and confident feeling, and, and uh, it's, it's, you have a better shot of winning games when you play the game that way. You were 2-4 for four last night, Keith, 2-4 for four again today, and I was just talking with the skipper, Doug Semenik, about your swing. It seems like you're swinging it well and feeling comfortable. How do you feel at the batter's box right now? Feeling good, trying to get good pitches to hit, um, trying to catch up uh, with the guys around me. Uh, we have a very, uh, a very solid lineup, so uh, I'm just trying to do my part and allow the guys uh, hitting around me to do their part as well. How important was it, Keith, today to get those four runs in the first inning? Ronnie Berkwin coming up, two batters after you with a big base hit to left, and all of a sudden you wind out the lead. Yeah, I mean, it was great being a, uh, being a third game of a series. We had won the first two and a uh, day game on Sunday. You know, it's great to jump out early and, and give our pitchers uh, a nice lead to work with, let them settle in a little bit. And, um, you know, it's, it's always easier to play this game when you're, when you're winning, when you're in the lead. I know that we've got a road trip to St. Paul tomorrow, and so not to put the cart ahead of the horse, but how much are you looking forward to going back toward your home, an East Coast road trip for the Red Hawks, a 10-gamer starting a week from tomorrow? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I was in that league for a long time, so I've played a, a lot of baseball at the ballparks we're about to go to. Um, you know, hopefully uh, you know, I can get in there and feel confident and, and help out my teammates um, with some scouting of, of the players that I, I've been playing against for a few years. Keith, thanks for the visit. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Keith Brackhold, Red Hawk first baseman with us on our Red Hawks postgame show. The Red Hawks win it 7-2, to and they sweep the rival Gold Eyes, winning all three games this weekend, and we were blessed to get this game in after being delayed by an hour.